Good morning, everybody. It's Evelyn. Uh, I know you may not be watching this in the morning, but hello. Good morning. Uh, it is morning for me. Um, today I am going to be talking about pan pastels. And we pan pastels are fantastic. Let me get this back in focus. Uh, there you go. Uh, they're wonderful. They have they're they have bright, vibrant colors. They come in these little pans. They're ultra smooth, creamy. Oh, that's not gonna work. But this is not paper. This is wax paper. Um, but I mean, they lay down beautifully. They're gorgeous. But inevitably, if you order them off of Amazon or anywhere, actually. You will come across the most dreaded thing in the world. A crushed, pulverized pan pastel. And it's like, although you can still use them in this condition, they are messy whenever they are broken. They are, they, they spill, they, they, cr they're, they're crumbly. Um, it, it, they're just messy to use. Whenever they're not in the really nice pan state. And there are gobs and gobs and gobs of uh, online tutorials on how to fix these. And a lot of them will use alcohol or water or other substances to get it in a liquid state and then put it back in the pan. Well... I went on to the Pan Pastel website, and they do not recommend doing that. Uh, they don't use oil or alcohol in their uh, their manufacturing, and it changes the consistency. So I'm thinking, well, I guess I'll just live with them crumbling. Well, then I came across an idea, and I don't know if anybody else has ever done this or that, but my boss... God love him. I love him to death. Is a really avid espresso uh, drinker, and I have I have he taught me how to make espresso, and you have an espresso tamper that you use and tamp down the coffee grounds to make them solid in the espresso machine. I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder, and I have tried this so. So, I bought myself an espresso tamper. I do not have an espresso machine. This is lightweight. This cost me a whopping $6 on Amazon. It's, it's two-sided. One bigger, one smaller. I'm going to use the smaller size. And I, and I have, as I said, I've done this on other ones. And it works really well. It's not quite the same as if they're not broken from the manufacturers but believe me it makes them less messy less less horrible but you take the tamper and press and it takes a couple times now I have a piece of wax paper under this because as I said you open these up and suddenly you have a mess you have you have pan pastel all over the place it's it you know and believe me whenever they it, whenever it, it goes all over the place you know even doing this but you, and you may lose a little believe me pan pastel i love them to death but whenever they're crumbly like this and you get the powder all over it goes everywhere but as you can see, working it around, it's coming back into a pan, pan state. And I'm just tamping it back down into the same container. Um, a, a gentleman, uh, can't remember who he was. Did one where you take you you take it out of the pan and crush it up and then put it in 
and pulverize it and put it into another container. Well, the whole idea of pan pastels is they're a solid little brick and you just rub it over. And as you, as you can see, it's taking me a little bit of time here to kind of push this back down. But I've not added anything. I've not added moisture. I've not I've not added anything to the pan. I'm just sticking it back together using pressure. And in the end, I'm going to flip this over. And my neighbor is mowing his grass, so if you hear. See, the big one just, it fits in there, but it's a little, it's a tight fit, and it doesn't quite do the job. That's why I use the smaller. But in the end, it's not perfect, but, hey, I have another, I have a pan pastel that's back to being a pan state. Uh, you can tap it around, get the loose stuff, and continue to press. Uh, this was I gathered all of them to get all the broken ones together, and hit them. And I mean, it gets on the bottom. It it's it just it's a oh, no, they're broken. It's just it's devastating. They're usable, but but there, it's back into a pan state where you can use it. Like you use a, would use a regular pan pastel. So then you can uh, gently clean off your tamper with a dry paper towel. And move on to another to, if you have it more than one. And for some reason, whenever I got my gray set, all my grays were broken. Uh, you know, and I mean, yeah, they're usable, but you know, they're they're, they're it's messy whenever they're broken. And once again, I'm just tamping it down. And it takes it takes a little bit of time. It takes several press pressure moving around on the uh, on the pastel but yeah. I'm just and, I, and I'm putting quite a bit of pressure down on this but not oh I mean I'm not obviously not doing it as hard as a uh, machine would do but I'm just because there's a naturally there's I don't know how they make pan pastels I'll be honest but they're amazing and and that but uh, and I love them but this way I can they're not messy they're 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 not going all over the place anymore But, as I said, it doesn't take that long. They may not be perfect as they, come, as they come from the manufacturer, but they're also not crushed and not falling all over the place. Because I cannot tell you, as you can see, this one's kind of low in the, in the container. Because I opened it up and spilled a bunch of it all over the top of my... Uh, my... Uh, where I was coloring and it was rather upsetting so I'm just tamping it back down as a, a, with this tamper and I said these tamper you, they, they come in all, a variety of of uh, expensive you know exp but I got the cheapest one they had because I thought I'm going to be using this to tamp down pan pastels I don't need a $40 tamper I, I need a cheap tamper, but
but with a little little patience voila back to being a pan as I said not perfect but a lot but this is a lot better than I don't know you can't really see that one okay that is a lot better than that whenever it comes to uh, working so that is how I deal with a broken pan pastel um, and I'm going to continue I've got a, a dark gray uh, I got a couple of the uh, um, the uh, pearls that I recently got that are broken but that's how I deal and get my pan pastels back into a pan shape um, as I said they're not as perfect as they come but they're usable and it's a little messy to do it in the first while you're doing it but in the end whenever you open it up you're not having pan pastels spill out all over your desk uh, and as I said, I would highly recommend uh, putting a piece of um, wax paper down to protect your surface you're working on because uh, this stuff does have a tendency to get all over, but that's how I deal. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and maybe uh, we'll try this at, next time you get a broken pan passed out. I'm going to continue to fix the few that I have left that need to be fixed. Thank you again, guys. Bye.